Texas may be roughly 300 miles away, but numbers, lots of them, bring its residents closer than ever before. We are in a serious situation here in the state of Texas. Kiana Arnold is a birth justice associate at the AFIA Center in Dallas, a nonprofit that's been pushing for reproductive rights for black women for 15 years. With Roe v. Wade overturned, that fight got harder. No one cares about black women dying from maternal mortality, right? And they should have access to the health care that they deserve to have. Abortion is health care. Part of Arnold's job is providing airfare or a bus ticket for those looking to leave Texas to receive abortion care. In 2023, about 19% of the abortions performed in Colorado were given to Texans. They accounted for 2,846 abortions. The next closest state was Wyoming with 248. Arnold says one Colorado ranks as the top state they're sending people to the system that has been put in place in the state of Colorado has proven itself to be the safest for receiving um, people coming from the state of Texas. Safety is what they're looking for. Black women are three times more likely to die from a pregnancy related cause than white women. Of those who disclose their race or ethnicity when seeking an abortion care in Colorado, 19 percent of them were black. That's the second largest race seeking abortion care in Colorado. Receiving states like Colorado have been amazing in this work. Work Arnold can only describe as life-saving when she thinks about what mortality numbers would look like if Colorado wasn't so close. We would be losing lives at home. This week, the Arizona Supreme Court ruled that a 60-year-old near total abortion ban is enforceable. The ruling is on hold for two weeks, and voters will likely have a chance to weigh in on a ballot measure this fall. But if Arizona does ban abortions, it's another state where we may see people coming in from to access care. Reporting in the studio, Julissa Rosari, 9 News. And not only do these nonprofits need help, but it's also thinking about the fact that these women are traveling. That's a risk, too traveling in, in, in certain conditions, right? There's a multitude of reasons why an individual wants to get an abortion right. That's obviously a risk. And one thing they also pointed out is that a lot of the funding they usually get previous to Roe v. Wade getting overturned has gone away. They're going towards the states that do have abortions, but they still need this money, right, to make sure that these individuals can get to these states. Right, because they're seeing more and more. All right, thank you.